Our Town KC is brought to you by Video Communication Studios, provider of custom online video education and training. And now, Our Town KC. Hi everybody, my name is Pete Barrett and you're here for another exciting episode of Our Town KC. You're going to love our guest today. If you've heard of the Barn Players, it's a premier community theater organization in Miriam out by uh, Johnson Drive in Knoll. We've got Guy Gardner here from the Barn Players. Thank you for coming, Guy. Thank you very much for having me, Pete. Uh, Guy is directing their upcoming show, Catch Me If You Can. Now, Guy, some people may have heard of this title. Yeah. <laughs> from, uh, it was, uh, tell me the background of the show itself. Absolutely. Um, it's a true story based on a real guy, Frank Abagnale Jr. Um, it's, uh, he started his memoirs as a book. Um, that book was then transferred on into Hollywood on the big screen. And, and then, Leonardo uh, DiCaprio, right? With Leonardo yeah. DiCaprio and um, Tom Hanks, yeah. yeah. And um, then it transferred to Broadway. And um, after it's closing on Broadway, like most musicals do, mm -hmm. they allow the rights to be sent out throughout the nation. And The Barn is the uh, Kansas City community theater premiere of it. So we, we got it first. All right, so how are you going to be, uh, how are you going to be developing it for The Barn? Um, the show is a, a big showy musical and with the barn players what's great about them is they have a very intimate space. Um, it only seats about at most 150. The stage isn't some grand stage. It's very intimate so it's been interesting to figure out how to make this big showy musical that um, on Broadway had almost 20, a 20 piece orchestra mm -hmm. and put that into the barn player space. Um, we are using a 12, uh, 11 piece orchestra that will be on stage and seen throughout it yeah. um, with some great awesome players throughout. It's, all the music is very 50s and 60s so these yeah. orchestra members really get to, uh -huh. the trumpet player especially gets to wail and he gets to have mm -hmm. fun with it the entire uh -huh. time. So, and uh, who's in the show? Um, so in the show we have Preston O'Phil who's playing Frank Abagnale Jr. He is um, new to the barn. Um, but I think we'll see a lot of him around. Mm -hmm. He was in The Adventures of Tom Sawyer out at Theater in the Park this summer as All Tom right, Sawyer. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I have Andy Massey playing Carl Hanratty. Hanratty's the detective that chases oh, okay. um, yes. Frank Abagnale. That was the Tom Hanks role in the movie? Correct. That was okay. the Tom Hanks role. Mm -hmm. And Preston's playing the Leonardo DiCaprio okay. role. Okay. Um, Frank's love interest is Brenda Strong, played by Kelsey Clark. Um, okay. Who yes. most recently music directed Spring Awakening at the Barn. Yep. And then we have a cast of about uh, 20, 24 more people, um, ranging in ages from, I think I believe I have a 17 year old in our jet set, and um, I have some experienced theatrical people okay. in it as well. So what's your relationship with the barn? How'd you get involved with the barn? Um, I got uh, involved with the barn a few years ago. I think it was 2010 was my first year at the barn. Mm -hmm. I directed Shout the Mod Musical. <laughs> yeah. um, mm -hmm. <laughs> which uh, was a, a very fun show to do. And since mm -hmm. I've, I've worked for The Barn, um, I believe this is my 13th or 12th or 13th production. 13th um, production, you've only been in it, at it for a few years. Yeah, yeah. Two, <laughs> you're keeping busy, aren't uh, you? Absolutely, <laughs> they, they like me for some reason. Yeah. I don't know why, because mm -hmm. I'm a little crazy and yeah. they can be the first ones to tell you that. <laughs> you know, I was gonna mention, we do have some video of uh, a rehearsal, uh, and yeah. one of them in particular was a, um, choreography uh, piece with a uh, Rockettes kind of a group. Yeah, Can yeah. you say something about that? Yeah, I have a line of girls that are called the Jet Set, and in the Jet Set number it is 10 airline stewardesses. Um, Frank Abagnale spent a lot of time flying on Pan Am Airways, and mm -hmm. so there's a nice Rockette style number with 10 girls um, with a kick line and yeah. big showy dance number, and they all have airline outfits on. It's gonna look, it's gonna be awesome. And the, and the uh, pictures I've seen are unlike most pictures I've seen uh, publicizing a, uh, a play coming up. Uh, you've actually got actual airplanes in these yeah. per, these PR pictures. Yeah, um, I tend You're to go inside little, the airplane. Yeah, I tend to go over the top with mm. PR pictures, which yeah. um, many people know I do. Um, <laughs> but it's all for good fun. Um, yeah. And thanks to you, we got to um, take our promotional photos at the National Airline Museum, uh, yeah. Airline History Museum at the yep. downtown airport. Great. Um, and got to take some awesome promotional photos that we release about one a week um, leading up to the show, <laughs> just teasing different things. And um, it, was, it was a blast. We got to use an actual jumbo jet yeah. for a promotional photo. <laughs> As a prop. As a prop. <laughs> it was a gigantic plane. Here you go. Here's a prop. Yeah. So. All right. Let's, let's tell people specifically about when the show is and how they can get tickets and what are the costs and the dates and the times of the yeah, show. Yeah, absolutely. The barn. the barn Players is at 6219 Martway. 
Um, you across can, from, oh yeah, the, across from the uh, Sylvester Powell Center. Correct, yeah. across from that, uh, the Powell Center. Yeah. The website is thebarnplayers.org. Okay. Um, you have to make sure to put the in there. And tickets go on, they're to on sale now. You can go on and onto their website, buy tickets, reserve your spot now. Mm -hmm. um, we open February 27th. We run through March 15th. Um, we have, we open on the 27th, Friday and Saturday nights are at 7.30, Sunday mm -hmm. matinee is at 2. Okay. We have a special industry night the second weekend on Monday. All um, right. And that one is, um, you know, just used for anyone in the industry, but anyone yeah. can come. Right. Um, but if anyone else is in a show and they have the same performances right. as us, it's yeah. good that it they can It works out because you're typically night. off on Mondays. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that's a nice thing. Uh, tickets are $18 for adults. They're student pricing ticket, they're senior mm -hmm. price ticket, mm -hmm. and group pricing. So they have a lot of ticket options okay. um, to go from. And it is the opening of the 60th season. This is their 60th anniversary season. Yep. Um, so you can still sign on to get your seasonal flex pass, which is their season passes. Mm -hmm. um, and if you want to, you could use all six of your season tickets for Catch Me If You Can, or you can wait and use them for the six main stage shows throughout the season. All right. That's great, Guy. Yep. Thank you for coming by on Our Town KC. Absolutely. Thank you. And for uh, remember, the name of that show is Catch Me If You Can. It's at the Barn Players. They'll be opening on February 27th. I'm Pete Barrett, and thanks for joining us for this episode of Our Town KC.